The Virginia women's basketball team has started off well in the beginning of conference play with the help of emerging leaders like sophomore forward Lauren Moses. Teammate Sydney Umeri sat down with Moses to discuss the team's new dynamic and growth as they look forward to facing the rest of their ACC opponents. Lauren, so you're now a sophomore. Um, kind of talk to me about how you've grown since last season. I've seen that you've come a long way just as my post partner, but tell me um, your thoughts on how far you've come. Well, I think just this year, I'm just playing with a lot more confidence. Thanks to my teammates and my coaches, they have a lot of faith in me to just go out there and play hard and be aggressive. So I think just over the, se over the summer, preseason, I just worked on, you know, conditioning, of course, with the rest of the teammates and just playing with confidence. And I think that's helped a lot this year. Randolph feeds Moses outside the right block. Back out top, Randolph. Head fake from three. Bounce pass to Moses. Nice speed in the paint. Lauren with the right hand finish. Just a little bit about Miami. They're, they were number 22 when we played them, and you contributed 16 points to our win. Just what are your thoughts on that? You're really being a huge leader on the team. That game was just a big game for all of us, um, especially for the post. You know, they are very aggressive on the boards and just a very aggressive um, team in general. So I think just for us, it was just, you know, grinding down and getting stops and being aggressive on offense. And I think that's what we did. And offensively, I would just say that was probably really more aggressive than I think I ever have been this year. So that helped a lot too. And then just getting on the boards for this one thing that Coach B and all the coaches kind of reiterate um, in practice and games and getting rebounds is what's going to win games for us. You come from a very athletic family. How has that influenced your career here? You know, my house has been very competitive since I can even remember. Just growing up around my brother and my dad, you know, we've always just like had competitions, whether it was like how who can run to the end of the street <laughs> the fastest or, um, you know, just little things like that. So that's kind of helped me be so competitive now. Just as an athlete here at UVA, can you tell us a little bit about the academic side, having to balance it? We're a great university. Mm -hmm. First year was probably a little struggle for me, you know. This year I'm actually happy to say that I've been doing a lot better. My study habits are a lot better. I'm just, you know, time management is what it's really all about. And last year I probably didn't do as well as I wanted to do. But this year I think I did a lot better with um, time management and just, you know, prioritizing. Who has helped you along the way during your journey at Virginia, academically and on the court? On the court, I'd probably say Coach Fred the most because, you know, she's our post coach. So she's just always there for us, whether it's something about basketball or in your personal life. She's always checking up on you after wins, after losses, just to make sure that you're okay. But on, on the court, she's always just looking to make you better. Whether or not you made a good move, she'll say, oh, you could do this, but, oh, you did a good job, but you can do this as well, you know? Just watching film with her is just really good for us because we get to see what our mistakes and then she can correct them on the on in film so that we can do it on the court. So. I just think that, and especially because she's very, very experienced basketball player, so her words are just really hit home. This past summer it was really competitive for us, whether it was you know on the court or just out on the field. How do you think that's really changed our team? I think it's helped a lot. You know, um, last year we all wanted to be like best friends and stuff like that, and I think we really realized this year that on the court we can go at each other, we can you know talk a little mess just get at each other so that when we do play in, bas we play in basketball games and we're playing against people who aren't our friends, it's easier for us to do. How would you describe our team's dynamic this year? I would say we're a little different than before, but how would you describe it? We're a really upbeat team. You know, there's never really a dull moment with us in the locker room, on the bus, but also hardworking. Like over the summer, you know, that we worked very hard um, just to have the season that we want to have this year and get to the NCAA tournament. What do you think your biggest accomplishment, just as a pinpoint, would be this year? Well, my biggest accomplishment would probably just being like a leader for our post, you know, um, especially the first years coming in and some of them have injuries and coming back from them. Just trying to lead them and just be as positive I can, as I can be for them has probably just been the biggest thing this year. What do you see in the future for you here at UVA and for the team? For me, I just want to become the best leader for my team and just have the confidence in myself and in our team to just go as far as we want to go in the NCAA tournament. But to be able to push each other in practice, to get on each other, and just to compete with each other in practice so that when we get out on the court, it comes easy to us. What are you most looking forward to this season? I know it's been underway for a little while and we're finally in conference play, but what are you most looking forward to? I would probably just say Louisville game, both of the Louisville games actually. They're ranked team, and I think it's just time for us to make our stamp this year in the ACC and just show everybody what University of Virginia basketball is about.